Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this PDF of some condo numbers, and all I did was go up here and save it. Save it as condo numbers. I'm not going to save it because I've already got it saved. Then I'll open up Corel, and I'm going to right-click my mouse and import it. And then just type, start typing in condo numbers, and then hit import. In this case, I don't think it matters if you turn it to curves or whatever, but we're going to import it. And if you don't move the mouse and just click on it, you get the, the size they are. So that's like five and a half. It is a vector file already. Um, a vector file is something you can um, change. It's like you can see the, the point. So we could actually make that line blue by right clicking. We're going to want to make it black, I'm thinking. So I'm going to make it a Corel black, and you can see the difference in the colors of a true black in Corel versus the condo color. So we can just take this. Now, this is a fill, as you can see right down here. So we're just going to turn it black. This is the same thing. I'm going to, I'm left clicking for my fill. And then the two lines, I can actually, you know, if you wanted, um, I don't guess they're going to want different colors. But I'm going to select that one, hold down the shift key and select that one, and then make them both black by right clicking. And when I'm doing that, if I back up, you can see the blue line is on top. But by putting black, you can't tell the line. So that a lot of PV, PDFs aren't that sharp. Um, you know, if we do here and just kind of prove it and go to object and convert the outline to an object, and then if we left click, right click. You can see that they're a vector, and then you could fill it in with blue if you wanted to. Take away the outline. Do whatever you want to with it. Now, for the one I'm doing it for, if you have this font, you could make one. I do not recognize this font, and it's not a font anymore. It's a curve. So you'd have to start off with some new fonts or find that font to edit. Anyway, I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.